Hey y'all, hey, Mindy here, and I think I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video today. So it is 11.09 right now. I'm not eating anything yet today. I have drank one of these, so 24 ounces, I think, and I'm gonna refill it. And I'm going to get some coffee. I have been quite busy this morning. I did a body project workout video on YouTube, and then I did an hour on the treadmill folded some clothes, I did two uh, meditation sessions on Calm, and yeah, been playing with the cat too. So it's time to get fueled, and by fueled I mean coffee. And I'm gonna refill this. So let me grab a mug and we can get some coffee. I'm gonna use this super cute one that my friend Ann sent me. Come on, focus. I think this was like a freebie coupon thing from World Market or something, and she knows I love caps, so she sent me that. I usually make a big pot of coffee, and this lasts, um, depending on how much coffee I want, three to six days. Just depends on how much I've been drinking. So sometimes I will heat it up, and sometimes I don't. Today is one of the days where I'm just not going to because I don't feel like it. Some days though, I just have to have warm coffee. And I just have a little bit of soy milk left in this Tetra Pak. This is from Pacifica Foods. It's the Barista Series Soy Plant-Based Beverage Original. It's okay. We ordered this off of Amazon because we needed more soy milk, but it came at like a time when we really didn't need enough food to place an Instacart order, so we just got some of these. It's alright, it's a little sweet. Um, it's not bad in coffee, but obviously we can't use it in savory dishes. And that is the last of that. This was my very last one. We have restocked on some milk. So I am going to drink my coffee. I think I'm going to take a shower, put some clothes away, clean clothes away and uh, film a couple of videos for my regular channel. The lights are flickering, that's horrifying. <laughs> and I will be back to show you guys what I get into for lunch. And just a note, I don't always do like an intermittent fasting thing. I don't know that I'd even call this intermittent fasting because I don't stick to it regularly, but um, I eat when I'm hungry. And I'm just not hungry yet. Some days I'm hungry as soon as I roll out of bed and some days I need to do things and get moving and it just doesn't hit me until like lunchtime. So that's what I'm doing. Just following what my body says. So I'm gonna have my coffee in my cute mug and get my day moving. It is 2.02 which is admittedly longer than I want it to go without eating but I got busy. So I have leftover pesto pasta here that I'm going to heat up and add some Kalamon olives, I think a few walnuts, and just a smidge more pesto to liven things up. And that's will be my lunch. And hopefully it's delicious. So this pesto pasta had penne, jalapenos, tomatoes, and mushrooms already cooked in there. I added some walnuts for crunch, and then I'm also adding Kalamata olives just for a little bit of a salty factor. I love topping anything and everything with Kalamata olives. So here I'm just heating it up a little bit, enough to make it warm through, but not enough to uh, make the pasta soggy or anything. And I added just a tiny dollop of extra pesto to liven it up a bit. I then plated my pasta up in a bowl. As you can see, it's nice and warm and delicious. And then I topped it with some good planet Parmesan and it was so good. Later on, I was searching the pantry for a snack and I saw we had only one of these hemp gummies left. These came in a vegan cuts box. They aren't particularly good and I don't think they do anything. I think the CBD is kind of a gimmick, but I finished it anyway. Checking in, it's 4.41 and I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna have two squares of the who, I guess it's called, almond butter and puff quinoa dark chocolate. I'm gonna dip that into the Trader Joe's almond butter, which is my favorite almond butter. It's so good. So I'm just gonna have a little snacky snack because I'm still working on 
getting my videos edited and uploaded and scheduled. Once that's done, I might start making dinner. So it is 6.39. I edited videos and then I went upstairs to read for a little while. Now I'm going to get started on dinner. I am making soup tonight and it is a recipe from this book which is Issa Does It. It has a cover to it but we put it somewhere else. And the recipe I'm going to be using is the chickpea rice soup with cabbage making some substitutions um i'm not sure if we have chickpeas or not if not i'll use just a white bean and i'm gonna use quinoa that we have just a little bit left of instead of rice basically i just need to use up a bunch of cabbage we have so this is the recipe i'm going for and yeah after that gets going, I'm going to cut up some croutons, well, some bread. I tried to make bread yesterday and it went horrible, but it's still edible. So I'm going to turn some of it into croutons, put on top of the soup, and I thought that would be super tasty. And I will bring you guys along for the journey. I'm excited and getting hungry and... Yeah, I can't concentrate, can't think of words because I'm hungry, so let's get started. So here's a peek at the soup. So I had swapped the rice in the recipe for quinoa. I swapped carrots for parsnips and uh, oh yeah, I swapped the chickpeas for cannellini beans because that's what we had. Oh, and it also called for thyme, but I used oregano because we didn't have any thyme. So it looks really good. It was super filling and I topped it with these homemade croutons. I attempted making bread the other day and it didn't go well. So I made it into croutons and the croutons were particularly delicious. I loved them. So here I am just plating up, throwing my soup in a bowl. I think I did like three or four scoops of soup and that was too much. I was stuffed to the brim. The soup is like really filling, which is kind of deceptive because soup is usually kind of a starter or a side, but I was so packed to the brim after this, especially with the croutons on top because they were soaking up the juices of the soup and really making it thick and luscious. I'm in my bedroom and I just wanted to do an outro to this video. I am stuffed. That soup was so filling, like insanely filling. It's crazy. And the croutons help, I mean, they were really good. I'm obsessed with croutons. Homemade croutons are the best. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button, comment some questions down below, and otherwise I'll talk to you later. Bye.